Automation Academy TV. Our tutorial for today is what is an overload relay. Thermal overload relay is designed to protect the motor in case of phase failure or overload. The thermal overload relay does not directly shut down the load. Instead, it triggers one or several auxiliary contacts which then disconnect the motor. An overload relay paired with magnetic contactor to form a motor starter. This is the symbol of NEMA overload relay. And this is the symbol of IEC overload relay. The overload header element are connected in series with a contactor to protect the motor. An overload relay also include one or more normally open and normally closed contact. These contacts are connected to pilot, buzzer, or alarm light for indication to warning the operator or maintenance. The overload relay is always part of magnetic contactor and is designed to protect the motor against prolonged overcurrent. This means if the motor is running for too long with high current, it will overheat and destroy the motor. One of the causes for this is bad bearing. Parts of overload relay, current seating. To set the current seating of the motor, you need to know the full load current times multiply it with 1.25 or 125%. Stop button, used to stop the motor. Reset button, manually reset should be done after the motor has tripped. This is the usual setup of motor control, from the bus bar going to the main disconnect. The purpose of main disconnect is to shut off the entire circuit. And for circuit breaker, designed to protect electrical circuit from short circuit and ground fault circuit interruptions. Contactor is an electrically controlled switch used for switching higher current. Overload relay designed to protect the motor from prolonged overcurrent which cause overheat and destroy the motor. And the last one is the electric motor is a machine that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. And also, check my other video like interview question and answer, hydraulic pneumatic, FANOC robotics, motor controls, and many more. This is a relay showing which pin is normally open or closed contact. In this example, the initial condition of the circuit while the switch number one is open, relay is not energized and the electric motor is not running. What will happen if we are going to close the number one switch? The current flows from 24 volt supply battery through number one switch, through number two magnetic coil, and energizing the magnetic relay. Once the magnetic relay energizes, the number three single pole double through or SPDT contact change its state from 11 to 12 through 11 to 14. And the current from number 4 power voltage 230 volts flows through close contact number 5 motor and the motor will run and the current flows back to power supply. Now let's do our practical exercise. Okay, guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire a relay that can control a big motor. Let's do it. From the positive of our power supply, we're going to connect it here. Positive of our power supply, going to our switch, going to coil of a relay A1. From A2 of the relay, going back to, uh, to the negative of the power supply. Now let's try if this relay will plug in works from the positive of our power supply we're going to connect another supply going to the normally open of our relay from another side of the normally open of the relay going to the coil of the magnetic contactor From A2 of our magnetic contactor coil, 
going back to our negative of our power supply. In this scenario, guys, in this scenario, guys, I didn't uh, plug in yet the motor. But anyway, I already connected the power circuit of the motor. When I'm going to press this one, this one should plug in. Doesn't run yet because I didn't plug in yet the power supply. Let's try. Okay. Both of them is plugged in. The relay, energize, and the contactor, energize. Once I plug in the power source of the motor, the motor should run. Now, I already plug in the motor. Let's try if it works. It works, guys. So this is a relay, how to control a big motor using contactor and power supply. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.